Hey y'all, hey, good morning. This video won't be this long, but I want to say good morning to y'all. Um, this video, of course, is a home chronicles, not a car chronicles. I, I, I don't even have to drive to anywhere this morning or today to go to work at all. Um, I'm, we're actually, we're, we're, we're all working from home. I get, well, those who choose to work from home today, um, work from home, I guess I put it that way. Um, and I chose to, of course, work from home. And that's why I'm doing this video. Um, this is the first time that I've ever worked from home, actually. In the 20 plus years that I've been a social worker, working at jobs and that kind of thing. And I just found that very, very interesting. I guess I put it that way. Um, like I said, just just definitely is um, the job is fine. I mean, I'm, I'm enjoying the job. Um, but like I said, it, it, it's not the job that's interesting. I guess I put it that way. It's just the fact that this is my first time. How, how long have I been? I've been a social worker since 1999. I guess it's 23 years. Well, yeah, 23 years. Yeah, it just turned 23 years. And this is the first time that I've ever been able to, of course, work from home, do my work at home, get paid while I'm at home, all that kind of thing. Like I said, in the past at other jobs, of course, you, um, if you are at home, you're just at home. You either get paid or you don't, or, or if it's snow day or whatever's going on. Like I said, I just found that very interesting because I know... Um, <clears throat> that others have talked about of course working from home or not working from home the differences and that kind of thing and like i said now i'm getting the, uh, my first chance actually today is the first day of me working from home but i know that i'll have that as an option in the next i think month month and a half um working from home two days a week i believe is from what i was told so um so like i said this has just definitely been very interesting um the reason why it's interesting is because i don't see all the micromanaging that i have seen um, at this particular place, at, at other jobs and that kind of thing. Like I said, that's what's very interesting to me. Uh, wasn't being trusted enough to, of course, be at home, um, to even work from home. Even though the job may have gotten done, I'm sure it will still get done at home. But like I said, it, it just brings me to all those things that I was talking about as far as <clears throat> um, with the great resignation, the great quit, whatever you all want to call it. Because um, I did some videos that was last year and early this year about that. Um, cause of course I was talking to some, it was actually stem from TikTok actually talking to some folks on TikTok because of a video that I made talking about the great resignation and talking about like toxic coworkers, toxic bosses and all that kind of stuff. And like I said, this just brings to me things back full circle just to let me know that, um, everything still holds true. I guess I put it that way. Nothing was false or that kind of thing at all. But it's just, like I said, just, just let me know that. It's not the job per se, but it's the people behind the jobs. I guess I put it that way. Like I said, I know, as I always say, the hurt people hurt people. I know that I'm sure you all have heard that or have experienced that yourself. But it just, like I said, just, just takes me back to the hurt people hurting people. Like I said, because that, that particular CEO or that particular boss did not have trust in others. Um, they didn't have um, enough trust in others to allow them to do their job the way that they wanted to do it or, or whatever the case may have been. But like I said, that just takes me back to all those things and the places that I've worked in the past. And like I said, that's just very interesting to me. Like I said, definitely. Um, I know we didn't have COVID. The COVID just happened, what, about a few years ago. Or, well, it's still happening now. But when everyone was going home to work from home, that kind of thing, like I said, I knew. And I know that we were supposed to work from home because we were just office staff. But like I said, the trust wasn't there and all those kind of things. And like I said, it just reminds me that and just lets me know again that is not the any job you anybody any job i'm sure you, you can do from home probably not surgery i'm sure but any other job you can probably do at home but but like i said it's not the job itself it's just the people who are not trusting you enough to even do the job from home even though that's what was required i guess i put it that way and like i said that's that's why i've gotten into the the life coaching i guess i put it that way because I know I see all these hurt people hurting people. It does not have to be in a romantic relationship. It can be like I just said, employee and employer relationship. Those folks get hurt in those relationships as well. About two weeks ago, I think I did a video on here talking about trauma in the workplace and all that kind of stuff. This is part of that trauma in the workplace. Like I said, there's a lot of times you, you I'm sure you all may have heard stories or may have your own stories. If you ever had a job or in the workplace or been in a job for whatever so long, that kind of thing. I'm sure you have experienced those types of things as well. Some trauma, traumatization in the workplace, whether it comes from a toxic boss, a toxic coworker, I cannot say the clients too much because I, I I guess for me, because I never took things personal from the clients, even though I've been cursed out and yelled at, whatever else. I was called the police on by one lady a long time ago. A mess. But like I said, definitely, I never took it personal because I was doing my job. And I know that I was within the law and that kind of thing. Um, but like I said, definitely from the ones you work with, like I said, that can definitely be trauma there. Um, trauma to the extent not, hopefully, is not beating in that kind of thing. Hopefully, that's not what it is. But 
there is some harassment going on. We all know that in the workplace because there's laws against sexual harassment and any other type of harassment in the workplace. For those who, of course, so-called the whistleblower, those folks who, of course, see things that are going on in the workplace and want to report it anonymously so that they won't be fired from the job or that kind of thing. But there is now laws that protect them from not being fired from the jobs and not being so-called picked on by the people in the workplace that, that, that there was a tattletale or even though I'm sure it still happens. But like I said, there's laws to protect them. <clears throat> And like I said, there's all types of things that we know that for those who, who, who have ever had a job, one at least one job, the micromanaging, the all over your back, don't not allow you to even do your job without them checking every single five minutes what you're doing, how's this going, let me read what you wrote, that kind of thing, because I've been there as well. And like I said, it just definitely, there's a lot of things that go on that people may not even report, that there may not be a law to protect them, but we're we're not stupid. We're not stupid or crazy. We're all adults. We know when we're being picked on or when we're being singled out or when we're being um, the the laughing stock of the office and that kind of thing. Like I said, it, it definitely just takes me back to all that because I have been through all those things, except for like the whistleblower and the sexual harassment, that kind of thing. But like I said, the other um, name calling, the um, talking about somebody, the singling people out, the gossiping. Like I said, I was I was on the receiving end of a lot of those things, I guess I put it that way. And like I said, it just takes me back to all the trauma that we can face inside the workplace that folks may not want to talk about and that folks go home. Um, one lady, actually a few ladies I was talking to, I'm um, on TikTok actually. <clears throat> actually, it wasn't a few. I had like over a hundred some comments on this post actually, which I didn't even expect, but it was folks talking about their workplaces, a lot of the things that they of course faced and that kind of thing, how they went home. Some of them went home crying, upset, not wanting to go back. All those types of things. Like I said, that happens a lot. And like I said, this me being able to work from home for the first day of my life just reminds me that a lot of the times it's not the job itself. It's the people behind the jobs. It, you can work any job, I'm sure, from any home or, or other kind of place, location, co-working spot, anywhere. But like I said, it just saddens me that there are still some employers out there who do not trust their staff enough to even work from home. I guess I put it that way. Even if it's an option or not. Like I said, there's definitely not... With all the traumatization, all the craziness that go on in the workplace, all the gossiping, all the girl looking at her clothes, she look ugly today, all this kind of stuff that you hear, because I've heard that too. And like I said, definitely, there's a lot of things that, that people put up with to come to the workplace. And like I said, definitely, I know a lot of employers may not see all those things, I guess I put it that way, because the employees haven't said anything because they don't want to further cause anybody to continue to talk about them or then tell say that she's a tattletale and all she all she, all she can't fend for herself and all the, just just all these types of things like I said I've seen that happen and I'm sure some of y'all may have seen that happen in the workplace as well and like I said that just takes me back to all those things and just how sad it is that that people have to go through those kind of things and like I said I know that's a lot of the reason why people were wanting to of course not just I mean, I'm sure it was because of COVID as well but because of all the stuff that goes on in the workplace, a lot of folks were wanting to work from home because of that. They don't have to deal with those things going into work, clocking in, clocking out, all that type of stuff. And like I said, now, like I said, they just rung another, like set another light bulb off my head just to remind me that that's the reason why. And those are the reasons why I guess I put it that way. And the same thing I said last year and earlier this year on the videos, that those are the reasons why the people don't want to be working in workplaces, especially if it's a toxic workplace. I know folks want to take the word toxic and turn it all upside down, whatever the hell you want to call it, a bad workplace, a horrible workplace, whatever it is, it's all the same thing. It all to me means the same thing. I could curl less about, about the terms and, and the names that I assign to things. If you don't like it, you just don't like it, I put it that way. So I know I've been told that before about toxicity, you shouldn't say this. I could curl less. Whatever word you want to use, you damn use it, I put it that way way i'm gonna use the words i want to use i guess i can say that it all means the same thing but like i said getting back to the workplace like i said we have got to work on these workplaces i guess i put it that way i know i've talked about this <clears throat> like i said a lot last year and earlier this year as well when it came to the great resignation of folks not wanting to go back and while a lot of jobs were of course missing employees when the COVID was kind of over and the employees were, were wanting folks to report back to the office they have to realize that some folks are being damaged and hurt in the workplace. I guess I put it that way. Not probably not physically, hopefully not. Some of them may have been, I have no idea, but most of the ones I've talked to, at least 90% of them were mentally and emotionally hurt in the workplace. And that's the reason why they wanted to, of course, stay at home and not have to deal with that kind of crap. Like I said, the employers may not have known all the things that's going on, but you, you can just read one article or, or look at some post online somewhere, LinkedIn, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, I've seen them all over the place because I posted posts, I mean post posts talking about that kind of stuff too and, and comment on folks posts 
talking about those exact things I just finished talking about. And like I said, all the employees would have to do is look at those things. I understand they may have paid for a building that has has a rent and all that kind of stuff. That's okay. You would, I'm sure you can get out that contract just like everybody else have. But like I said, at some point in their mind, they have to understand and realize that is not the job that pe folks can do whatever job you, you assign the most times. Um, but like I said, it's the people that they have to deal with by doing those jobs that's causing the issues. And like I said, I know a lot of bosses don't want to hear that. But like I said, that is the truth. And like I said, you definitely have to look at what's going on in your workplace. I know the employees that you're talking to them, they may not even want to talk to you about what's going on because they're afraid to come out and say it because they don't want to be the gossip stock of the whole office and, and more and shun more. I guess I put it that way. Don't 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 um don't invite her to the party. Don't invite her to the office. This and that. I have been done that damn way. So like I said, I know how folks can be in the workplace. Actually, I've been done that way. <clears throat> I've been done that way twice, actually. So I know how folks can be, I guess, can be in the workplace. And like I said, that's why this is passionate to me, I guess, or something that I love to talk about. And that's why it brings the passion to my heart. Like I said, this is something that I've actually experienced. A lot of these things, actually, besides the harassment and or the physical abuse, I haven't experienced any of that in the workplace. But, uh, but like I said, definitely. These things, like I said, we have to look at these things in order for our workplaces to be better places where folks would, of course, want to come to. And like I said, until that happens, we're still going to have gaps in our um, in our businesses. That's why a lot of businesses, I'm sure that one of the reasons why a lot of businesses had, had, had closed down during COVID. People did not want to return, whether it was the crazy, not well, crazy, toxic, whatever you want to call it. Bosses, coworkers. I'm sure I'm sure it was, was because of COVID. Yes. But I'm sure it, it was because of the way that, that, that they were treated in the workplace. And like I said, until we start looking at these things, we will never have a workplace like we used to have back in the day. Cohes well, I don't know what it was. Well, back in the day, as much as we can make it, as happier as we can make it, I guess I put it that way, where the bosses are actually mingling every day with the staff to see how they're doing, how their life is going. Not, not just being nosy and that kind of thing, but just checking on people. Seeing why Susan or whoever it is or Jody or whoever it is is sitting in the office by themselves while everybody else is going out to dinner or lunch and just, just and just left her sitting there. Obviously, there's a reason. Obviously, they didn't want her to go. And obviously, she didn't feel comfortable going with them people. Like I said, we, we notice a lot of things when we don't speak up. I guess I put it that way. We have to start, especially us employees, you have to start speaking up and speaking out as well. Not just relying on the employers to, of course, to, to I guess, to see what's going on. Because like I said, they're in their own worlds and dealing with their own things too, but they can, of course, step out and start talking to, 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 to the employees more, not being micromanaging, but like I said, definitely talking to the employees, trying to get a sense and a feel of the vibe out there on the floor, see what's going on, that they can do. But like I said, for us who are working, we have to, of course, speak our peace, speak our truth, as I always say as well. Instead of just sitting there going through these things, you don't have to put up with anything that you don't want to put up with. I understand that we have to pay bills and do all those kind of things, but there's always ways that you can create another... Um, stream of income or find another job i guess i put it that way as well so i guess i'm going to go ahead and get off here because i know i got to go ahead and get my day started too so like i said this is i i, I, I just want to bring this up today because i know i brought it up many a times in the past but i definitely want to bring this up again today just talking about the workplace and how we can of course try to create some changes in the workplace and for those employers to of course start looking at some of the reasons why the, their hotels are not full of employees because folks don't want to return uh, why the restaurants are still lacking employees and those patrons will have to wait over an hour just to be served because they don't want to come back and deal with the toxicity in the workplace like i said there's a lot of businesses that are still going through those kind of things um, and that's the reason like i said why some of these businesses have closed down completely because they don't have any staff to come back to i'm not talking about just because of covid but i'm talking about the, the treatment in the workplace so like I said, with that, I'm going to go ahead and get off here. I want to say thank you all for tuning in today. I'm Susan and Glenda. Thank you for tuning in. And I will reply to your comments a little bit later on. But like I said, definitely thank you all for being here. And for those who catch the re replay, greatly enjoy. And if you all have any instances that you've had in your workplace or anything in this video rings a bell, definitely, like I said, make sure that y'all comment down below what, what's going on and how you kind of handle it, I guess I put it that way. And for those um, you may know that may work in the workplace that um, that is constantly coming home stressed out and that kind of thing, make sure that you tag them in this video as well so they can start, hopefully at some point, speaking their truth about the workplace and that kind of thing too in order to help change that workplace. So with that, like I said, y'all take care. Have a great day. And I'll chat with y'all later on.